Art, for it to be important for me, has to move you on multiple levels. It cannot be just an aesthetic. If it doesn't move you either emotionally, spiritually, philosophically, historically, it's got to have multiple resonance. And if it doesn't, it is not for me. It's not for our collectors. And Robert is one of the most interesting people you will ever come across. It's only someone like him that had the formalized training as both architect and artist who learned from some of the great architectural and artistic minds of the last century that could evolve and have Robert's art be able to be what it is today. His spatial construction and compositional and color sense are literally off the charts. And I think that that's one of the reasons that he's one of our staple artists in the gallery. Looking at this work and thinking, wow, this is really interesting and very different and very different. And how he translated the design elements, the aesthetics of, of the design uh, into these materials. He's great with materials. And why am I surprised? I shouldn't be surprised because somebody who makes buildings like that knows materials, that's for sure. And it's really been kind of fun to see the various facets of his creative mind and his energy. And I think that's what I, I really like about it and admire about it. In other words, it's more than just the art, but it's the whole persona, the whole story that goes along with it.